memorize. Now, trace the letters with your hand. What's that spell? Snow. Good, Linda. You did great today. <laughs> Can I go outside and play? Yeah, I'll come get you in a while. She's really coming along. I'm glad. Oh, that reminds me. I have some good news. Linda's pictures would be amazing if somebody twice her age drew them. Oh, she loves to do it. Well, Kids World Weekly has an art contest every year, and we always submit some of our kids' drawings, and we never hear anything. Well, this year, we heard. Not only do they want to publish Linda's pictures, they want to put this one on the cover. You sent these in without asking me? Abby, I thought you'd be pleased. I bring my daughter here to work on her reading skills. If I wanted her to be an artist, then I would send her to art school. Well, that's exactly what you could do. If they want to give her a scholarship. I don't want these pictures published. Just stick to teaching her how to read and leave the rest of Linda's education to me. Mrs. Scally, show me some of your pictures. Is that why you came to see her today? They are beautiful. I'm so proud of you. I want you to stay here and don't move. Hey, help! Hey! Hey, help! The guy in a mountain bike. He took this woman's purse. He rode down the creek. Red hair, long red hair. Got it. You all right? There he is. Talk some more. Don't pretend to be my friend. I got nobody. Sounds like you've been feeling alone for a long time. <laughs> you know what I'm going through. That's right, I don't. But I know from my own life that nothing's easy in this world. For example, my mother-in-law's cooking impaired, and I gotta eat over there twice a week. I lost my job. <laughs> My wife left. I can't. I just. I can't go on. You feel bad today. I hear that. But tomorrow you might feel better. Now we're gonna find out if you're not here. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. Lee, you gotta give me the gun now, and we're gonna talk. <laughs> What do you say? How 
Put a hand for our actor, Lee Leland. When somebody is about to commit suicide, they feel completely isolated. See if you can get them talking. See if you can get them laughing. <laughs> uh, make them understand that you know how they feel. If you make a connection, you just may save a life. It's not much. It's a fortune. I haven't worked in a year and a half. Last thing I did was a commercial for Henshaw's orange juice. Now I remember you. You were the singing orange. Yeah. I also wrote that jingle. Dam ba da ba ba da A day without OJ is no day at all. Do you remember? Yes. So squeeze us, freeze us, drink up and have a ball. Yeah. <laughs> Must be fun doing those ads. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be. Well, you did a great job out there today. Who's acting? <laughs> my wife did leave me. My career's on the toilet. I, sh I, I just should never play the orange. You know, I got typecast, and, uh, and I couldn't get work, and then I started drinking too much. And the next thing I know, Jenny was gone. So I, I just keep thinking, why go on? What's the point? Sounds like you've been feeling alone for a long time. I'm sure you feel helpless today. I, I hear that. But tomorrow you might feel better. Shut up. No! Oh, God. Are you all right? Oh, my God. That must be a sign. I'm... You saved my life. Well, I'm... Anybody would. I mean... No, but you did. You did. No. Oh. You did. Um, somebody want to call the elevator company? Lee. Lee. Last name? Devonport. <laughs> Social security number. You really need all that? It's just routine, but we do. Hi, honey, what's up? There was a mugging right outside the school. Linda Davenport's a witness. And this is her daughter, Linda. Hi. She gave a pretty good description of the crime scene. I think she might be changing her mind. Hi, I'm Police Commissioner Scally. Uh, Abby Davenport. Uh, I understand you witnessed the mugging. Guy snatched a purse from an older lady. She didn't get a good look at him, but Miss Davenport did. Not really. You said he had long red hair. Did I? I, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Mr. Davenport, uh, you did something today that we wish a lot more citizens would do. You saw a crime, and you got involved. I'm not sure really how much I saw. Uh, the guy on the bike has two priors. In one of them, a, a woman was seriously injured. Now, if you identify him, we can put him away for a long time. Uh, it's past Linda's dinner time. I, I think I should be going. You don't have to be afraid of this guy. We're not going to let him get anywhere near you or your daughter. But we can't get him without your help. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'll keep him behind bars overnight, and we'll uh, set up a lineup for tomorrow afternoon. I'll be here. Tony, I wanted to surprise you. Look, four brand new steel belted radial tires, the finest the money can buy. You can't be too safe with the family car. I got them a couple of years ago for doing this tire spot. I wrote the jingle. Da 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 da, a day with no radials is no day at all. You know your old lady will thank you from summer to fall. Lee. I can't take these tires from you. I, it happened. It's over. You don't have to... Feel that? What? That's my heart, Tony. There's only one reason it's still beating. When I think that... I was on the verge of... And then you... Beautiful. Tony. 
Commissioner Scali, please. Tony, I'm a little worried. What's the matter, hon? Well, Abby's daughter didn't come to school today. We tried Abby at home and she wasn't there. She didn't show up for work either. That mugger's still in jail, right? He is, but he may have friends on the outside. What if something happened to them? I'm gonna go to Abby's apartment. I'll call you later. Abby? Linda? Closets are empty. Looks like they cleared out. There's more to this than just a nervous witness. Put on an APB. You better make that on a Jane Doe. The name, social security number, former addresses she gave us, all bogus. Abby Davenport doesn't exist. Your attention, Maybe they didn't leave by bus. She doesn't own a car. It's still our best bet. An agent sold a ticket to a woman with a little girl about half an hour ago. Where to? It was an open ticket. I guess she's used to being on the run. How many buses have left since then? Two, Atlantic City and Philly. I radioed ahead. They'll both be intercepted at the first stop. Good. Let's check the rest of the buses. I'll call you about the Philly bus. It has the first stop. OK, I'll be right there. Taking a trip? Oh my God, is it really worth all of this for purse snatching? In the first place, yes. In the second place, I want some answers. All right, I'll talk to Rachel. How about you talk to the both of us? My real name is Marcia Daniels. Uh, eight years ago, I married Stuart Walsh. It was in, uh, in Hartford. His family's rich. He uh, runs one of their businesses. We were well off. We had Linda. I thought that we were building a life. One day I came home, Stuart, Stuart wasn't expecting me, and I, uh, I found him in Linda's room, and he, he was touching her. How old was Linda? Oh, she's barely four. I, uh, I don't know how many times he had... Uh, I divorced him. He, of course, denied everything. He had hired the best lawyers and psychiatrists. And uh, they said that I was delusional, that I had been molested as a, as a child and that I was projecting my traumas. Onto Linda. Had you been molested as a child? I'm not delusional. I know what I saw. Did Linda ever talk to anybody about her father? Uh, she'd just say, I love my daddy. I mean, God knows what he had said to her. She was terrified. She wouldn't even talk about it at all. Would she talk now? Maybe if I had the money to pay for years of therapy. The court awarded us uh, joint custody which left Linda living in his house half the time. So the first chance I got, I took her. I left. 
You understand that makes you a kidnapper. Wouldn't any mother do the same? Wouldn't you do the same? Yes. You ask Stan to come in here, please. What's gonna happen to Linda? We'll keep her. We'll take very good care of her. Oh, she'd like that. Thank you. Stan, would you take Miss Daniels here down to the lockup? I don't care what happens to me, but I'm begging you. Don't give my daughter back to that monster. You have to let her go. I can't. You can't send that little girl back to her father. You're assuming that Abby or, or Marsha is telling the truth. You heard her. We already know she's a good liar. She's been lying all along about her name, her background. To protect her child. I would do the same thing, Tony. So would any parent. I know this woman. I've seen her every week for six months. She loves Linda. What she told us today is the truth. I feel it. The court in Hartford didn't. Well, the court in Hartford is wrong. They made a mistake. You can't just put that woman away when you know that she's innocent. All I know is that she's a kidnapper. Rachel, she's a fugitive. I have to arrest her. It's the law. The Tony Scali, I know, would never put the letter of the law above the spirit in a situation like this. You see that Tony Scali around? Tell him I was looking for him. Why, Mommy? Well, she's gonna be for a little while, sweetie. And you get to stay with Mrs. Scally, okay? Uh, everything is going to be fine. Uh, I'm sorry for the way that I acted yesterday. I know that you were just trying to help. It's just that I couldn't take a chance, you know, that Linda's picture might get on the news or in the paper. My husband, he, he's got detectives everywhere. I understand. I don't think you do. You couldn't. Yeah, I've had to be so careful. We've moved four times in three years. Linda, she, she's got no friends, no life. I, I didn't know what else to do. You did what you had to do. And the worst part is, it was all for nothing. I got the files from Hartford an hour ago. Stuart Walsh is a pillar of the community. There's no physical evidence of abuse, no evidence at all, except for what Marsha claims she saw. So maybe she was lying out of spite or because she wants sole custody of the girl? Maybe. Uh, it's just Rachel believes her. And I have an awful lot of respect for Rachel's judgment. Mm. We need some time to look into it. Well, I'm afraid we just ran out of time. Hartford PD notified Walsh that we have Linda in our custody. He's coming to pick her up. When? Tonight. I got 800 pounds of fertilizer for the Silax steer manure commercials. Had no idea what to do with it. Until now. The smell, purely temporary. Two weeks tops. Two weeks? Hey, this place is going to be the envy of the block. This stuff works, believe me. I only write ads for stuff that I believe in. A day without green grass is no day at all. So get it, spread it, then watch your lawn grow tall. Sorry. 
There's a stream right next to the house. The water's cold. And this is my dog, Valentine. You have a dog? No, but I will. I'll get him when he's a puppy and he'll always love me. You're quite an artist. I know. You know, um, your daddy's gonna be here soon. Maybe you should make one last trip to the bathroom? I miss Mommy. You're gonna see her again soon. She just has some things to take care of. Will I see you again? Sure. Yeah, we'll come and visit you. Could an abused child draw pictures as sweet and beautiful as these? I mean, they're bright and sunny, and the families are all together. Everything she always wanted, never had. Commissioner? Stuart Walsh. Come on in. I really appreciate you looking after Linda. Well, my wife is getting her ready now. Uh, she really is a great little girl. Yeah, well, these last three years, I've, I've missed her more than I... Daddy's here, honey. My God. She doesn't even remember me. Hi, Linda. It's Daddy. Oh, sweetheart. It's been a long time, I know. We'll be close, just like before. You'll see. Uh, it'll probably take some time. It's probably just as well that she can't go with you right this minute. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I, I thought you knew. I, I can't release her and, uh, until the court makes it official. The court made it official three years ago. Well, the faxes aren't legal. I need certified copies. It'll probably be another day or two. Well, I've waited three years. I guess another day or two won't kill me. You'll keep her here? Yes. <laughs> Daddy's got to go away for a little while. Don't you worry. I'll be back. I love you very much. You, uh, take good care of her now. gonna do I want to help you help me you told them we were here I saw Linda's reaction when Stuart walked through the door. I'm gonna do everything that I can to prevent Stuart from taking her back. But I need more evidence. It's too late. If you testify against the mugger, we can delay your extradition to Hartford. If you're here, that'll keep Stuart here while we get more evidence against him. I already told you everything. Are there any witnesses who can back you up? Uh, a housekeeper, another relative. Do you know of any other victims? There was a girl, Val Brody. Before Stuart and I got married, she lived in his house. Her, uh, her mother was the housekeeper. And then one day, they just left. And after Stuart and I got married, 
I started hearing the rumors. Well, rumors won't help us. But they're true. Val even admitted it. She just won't testify. How do you know? Every six months or so, I would call her up. I, I thought that maybe if she came forward, then Linda and I could finally stop running. She just hang up on me. Where is she now? Valerie, please, listen to me. I know what I'm asking is difficult. I know how, how awful those memories are for you. You don't know. I've got a life now. I've been clean for a year. I'd like to keep what happened in the past. But it's not really in the past, is it? Is it, Valerie? And it won't be until you close the book on him. That's what we're trying to do. Close that book. My mom... It helped kill my mom what he did to me. We always thought no one would believe our word against his. They will believe it now. We'll make them believe it, Val. Will you come to Eastbridge and tell them the truth? For Marsha's sake and for her daughter's? He hurt that girl. Same as he hurt you. And if I testify... You don't have to, baby. Don't let this bozo twist you around. Linda was only four years old. That don't concern us. Let them people handle their own problems. Last thing we need is bringing up crap that's old news. You don't have to go down there and let them mess with your head. You're safe here now. There's a little girl who wants to be safe, too. She suffered just like you did. And she may have to continue suffering. You owe it to her to prevent that. To prevent the pain that you went through. Sorry. Call me Stu. I, uh, I talked with my lawyer. He said that the extradition hearing's being delayed because of some mugging case you have to dispose of. Oh, right. Uh, we need Marsha's testimony. She's our only witness. Well, Commissioner, muggings happen every day. Uh, unfortunately, that's true, but that doesn't make them any less serious. No, no, of course not. I'm just saying, can't we accelerate the process? If the victim's looking for help, I'll write a check myself. I want Linda home with me. She's got a right to be safe. Look, the DA's a friend of mine. Why don't I light a fire under him? The perp in the mugging case will be hungry to make a deal. I'll wrap this up in no time for you. What do you mean, stall? I just got Marshank to agree to petty larceny. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Tony, I've just been in intense negotiations for two and a half hours with his lawyer. Two and a half hours in an enclosed room with a man who I know had beans for lunch. I need you to go to trial. With what for a case? I don't have a witness. The old lady didn't see a thing. With Marsha. Marsha Daniels, who kidnapped her own daughter. My chief witness is going to be a wanted fugitive. I'm going to crash and burn with her, Tony. They're going to write Hindenburg across my chest. Why do you hate me, Tony, huh? What have I done to you that you hate me so? I need you to drag out this process until I get something on Stuart Walsh. You close? I got nothing. I'll drag it out as long as I can. Thanks, Alex. It's not going to be easy because Presenza, you know, he likes his cases short and sweet. If anyone can bring the system to a grinding halt. Hey, I'm your man. Excuse me. Thank you. Make way, please. Make way. Luncheon for the commissioner. Luncheon for the commissioner. Good day. Good day. Mustn't be late. Good day. Good day. Mustn't be late. Luncheon for the commissioner. Luncheon. Ah, Commissioner, here we are, sir. Hey, how about this? Room service. Very good, sir. We start off with your small Caesar salad with homemade crouton. We follow that with a lovely vicious wall, which leads to your poached salmon with dill sauce, diced tomato or vinaigrette, and for dessert, your choice of blueberry cheesecake or hot apple pie. Right this way, sir, it would be my pleasure to serve you. We. I already ate. Oh. 
No problem. I'll just, uh, I'll just leave it and you can, you can graze later. It's okay. Mm, I love this man. <laughs> You're lucky you're working for him. Have we won the war against crime? How do you get rid of a guy who thinks he owes you his life? Psycho slavish behavior. Abi what? Saw a movie about it once. Well, it wasn't exactly about it. It was, it was more of a, uh, well, okay, it was a women with whips domination kind of thing. Some of the guys rented it. <laughs> anyway, the point is the need to be dominated, i.e. to be a slave, is often rooted in a sense of indebtedness. This I know. Well, that need can be erased if the slave feels he's paid back the debt. Listen. I can get you a copy of the movie if you want to. <laughs> uh, but then again, you, you probably don't want to because it's, it's not really a classic film. Take this downstairs to Marsha. She could use something edible. Oh. I was just, uh... Look, it's not that I didn't want to tell you in person because, well, I mean, you're certainly one of my closest and, and most admired. Who's it, Alex? The purse snatching case. Marsha Daniels on the stand. What happened? I'm sorry, Tony. I want it. It's over. What? I, I kept her on the stand all morning. Okay, I thought Judge Presenza was going to issue a continuance. We'd break for lunch, and I'd, I'd drag it out for as long as it wanted. I, I, I'm good, Tony. I, I was I was very good, and I, I didn't I didn't realize. The judge sentenced the purse snatcher to three years in county, and Marsha's extradition hearing is tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. I'm sorry. Sometimes you, you just got it, even when you don't want it. I know, Lisa. I, I went to law school, too. 17 exceptions to the hearsay rule. One of them's got to apply. Yes, Val Brody admitted to me she'd been molested. Right. Right, Lisa. Yeah, I know it's after midnight. The extradition hearing is in nine hours. Well, call me. We got nothing. I'm gonna walk into that courtroom tomorrow with Butkus. And Marsha Daniels will be in Hartford by the end of the day. Valerie. And did the form of molestation to which Stuart Walsh subjected you include sexual intercourse? Yes, it did. And how old were you at this time? I was 12. Could you speak up a little bit, please? I was 12. Thank you, Valerie. Why did it take you nine years to report this alleged sexual molestation? I didn't want anyone to know about it. Did you undergo a medical examination at that time? Is that a no? No. Why are you here now? Because I don't want him to get away with this again. I don't want him to hurt that little girl. Isn't it true the real reason you're here is that your mother tried to extort $50,000 from Stuart Walsh with this invented story of molestation? No, she did not. <laughs> it didn't work then, and you're getting revenge by joining Marsha's witch hunt now. He molested me. Counsel is badgering the witness. Ms. Peterson. You've been convicted for kiting checks, haven't you? Objection. Overruled. And didn't you serve six months for telephone fraud? Objection. Overruled. In fact, Ms. Brody, you're an habitual liar, aren't you? He molested me. He did it. Her previous record has nothing to do with this case. Ms. Fredericks, the witness's background aside, you've presented no medical evidence to support the charge of molestation. I can't overturn the ruling of the family court in Hartford based on this woman's unsupported testimony. The custody of the minor Linda Walsh is hereby granted to her father, Stuart Walsh. And Marcia Daniels is to be extradited to the authorities in Hartford to stand trial for kidnapping. He hurt my wife. You can't let him get away with it. Remove that man from the court. What the hell kind of judge are you anyway? You got kids? You want him loose around him? Put him away, man. 
I know you want to be with your mom, Linda. And you will be. I'm going to make sure of that. You have to trust me. It's going to be OK, sweetie. It really is. Yeah. You know, we love you very much. This will remind you that we're always nearby. Okay? Hi, come on in. Hello, Commissioner. Uh, uh, she's all ready. Uh, Linda, your daddy's here. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to go through all this. Oh. I can only imagine what it's been like. A nightmare. But I don't care now. I just hope the damage that Linda's mother inflicted on her isn't permanent. Who knows what she's filled her mind with. Hi, honey. Let's bundle up. It's cold out. What's her name? Huh? Samantha. Why, hi, Samantha. Thank you for taking care of her. Oh, it's been our pleasure. Linda's a very special girl. your new room. You've got lots of video games. You like video games? You've got lots of stuffed animals, too. Enough to start your own zoo. Taillights missing. Since when? Stay in the car, sir. Can I see your registration and insurance card, please? Yeah. yeah this windshield looks like it's tinted beyond the legal limit. What? <whistles> and the tread on these tires are low. I'm going to have to cite you for that, too. What is your problem, pal? You're going to make your quota? The tires are fine. Hey, I said stay in the car. Look, I'm a personal friend of Commissioner Scallop. In fact, I just came from his house. I don't think he's going to like it when I tell him how you treat people, Off Officer Kelly. What, just because you wear a gun, you think you have the right to harass people? You done? You're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Up against the car. <sighs> OK, don't. You're also under arrest for failure to comply with a direct order from a police officer. You want to go for the hat trick? <sighs> look, look, th this, this is ridiculous. I have a seven-year-old daughter in this car who has been through hell. You have no idea what kind of psychological damage it will do if you separate us. Take this little girl. I'm going to book this guy. Are you out of your mind? I'm going to slap your department with a lawsuit so fast you won't know what hit you. There's going to be nothing left of you when my lawyer's done, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, get in there. Where's Kelly? I demand to see Kelly. Damn it! Brody. Guard! Guard! 
You gotta get me out of here. This man's gonna kill me. Has he threatened you? No, but I know him. Just get along. Don't leave us alone in here. Guard! I guess this is my lucky day. Why are you here? When you threaten to kill a judge, he don't cut you much slack. Especially when he knows you mean it. Look, I know what Valerie told you, but it's only one side of the story. It's not the truth. Valerie was 12 years old, man. After all these years, she still wakes up in the middle of the night, screaming. Heart pounding out of her chest. Please. Don't. Please don't. Is that what she said to you? No. You, uh... You, you have to, you have to understand. I'm sorry. You sorry? You molested my wife. I couldn't help myself. You don't know what it's like. It's a fever that, that can't be cooled down. Unless... I didn't want to hurt her. You gotta believe me. I tried to stop, but... I'm sorry. I'll pay you anything you want. $10,000. I don't want your money. Everybody wants money. What do you need? $20,000? 50 Money won't pay for what you did. Scully? The cell's wired, Walsh. We got it all. I just got the lowdown from the district attorney, Alex Beebe. And uh, based on what Stewart said in the cell, Judge Fenwick ruled you were acting out of necessity. You were ensuring Linda's safety. So, all charges against you will be dropped. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been let out of prison for the first time in five years. You got any plans? No. Uh, Linda wants to stay here, be near her favorite teacher, Mrs. Scally. Well, that makes me very happy. <laughs> You've given us our life back. Thank you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Bye. So, you coming home for supper? Depends on what you're making. I'll be home. Hey, you wanted to see me? Yeah, Lee, I just wanted to thank you. I, my lawn's never looked better, and Rachel's car's driving smooth as silk. Believe me, it's nothing. Uh, walk me out. Who do you want to walk out with? Jackie Gleason? And away we go! How about a little bit of uh, Groucho? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever made. And uh, this'll do. John Wayne. If you want, I can teach you any one of them, Pilgrim. They're easy. <laughs> so this thing has... Three speed jacuzzi jets, auto swirl, 500 gallon capacity. This tub will do everything but nibble your ears. <laughs> I wish I had had one two years ago. Jenna and I would still be together. So I want to arrange a time to swing by your house and install it. Oh, that's way too generously. Compared to what you've done for me? Put your hands on your heads. Both of you. Give us your money now. <laughs> We don't want any trouble, okay? Beat it! <laughs> Tony. Tony, are you okay? I am now, thanks to you. How did you do that? Uh, I did a spat a couple of years ago for Lee Wan Ho's karate studio. You did? Of course, I only know the two moves. 
all those two moves just saved my life. Hey, I guess that makes us square. I saved your life, you saved my life, so we're even. Even? Are you kidding me? Do you know what just happened? I got to be a hero. That's the rule of a lifetime. Look, I'm a character actor. I never get to save the girl, let alone the police commissioner. I got chills. Thank you, Tony. I'm gonna paint your house. Outside and in. Did you ever see my commercial for Murphy's Paints? It was a tap dancing paintbrush. Bam ba da 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 da. A day without fresh paint is no day at all. Slap some of our water-based semi-claps right on your wall.